Hello guys, this is Sharun here from 24/7 Techie, and I just now showed you guys the boot process of Android iSchool project. This is also known as AICP. This is a ROM that uh, has been around for a while, but this was the first time that I have installed it on any of my phone. And which better phone than uh, OnePlus One? Yes, guys, this is my OnePlus One. Now uh, I should remove the back cover. Yep. This is my black one plus one sixty four gigs. I've also made some of the vi many videos on this. So and today I will be showing you guys the AICP ROM. I've had this ROM for like twenty four hours now, and it has been quite stable. Actually, pretty good, better than CM twelve, the uh, stable version. And uh, I have been using it. It's highly customizable. And by the way, you, this is the new style that uh, I'm trying to make a video on. Earlier on, I used to show you how to install a ROM and didn't uh, show much of the features. But uh, with this ROM, I was like, uh, as you can see, ambient uh, light is working, the sensors are working. And uh, with this uh, ROM, I thought that uh, the features are highly loaded in this ROM. So I will be showing you guys. The features and the installation process is very similar, actually the same, just the, uh, the zip will be changing. So if you don't know how to flash around, I will be leaving the links to my couple of other videos so that you can get an idea how to flash around. And after watching those videos, if you still have any of the question or any bug or any doubt you have, you can comment on the video and I will be replying it or you can message me, tweet me, anything and uh, I will be available for you at any time and um, in the, in the, from now on I will be sh showing you what all does a ROM offer because this would be better for you guys as our viewers and the installation process is almost uh, same in all the ROMs if it's having a different process or it's taking more time than regular then I will be doing a installation video also. So if you like this uh, idea of mine, you can uh, comment on that or uh, hit a like button. If you didn't like, you can leave a comment and tell me. And to get more videos, because I've, I've downloaded many uh, ROMs for OnePlus One official CM12 ROMs based on CM12. So I will be doing many more videos regarding this. So do hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss it. So we'll get started with this video and uh, show you what all does this ROM offer. I've just now fresh booted up back into this ROM so that you guys can get all the boot process and everything and uh, as you guys can see from the starting only the all the features are working you can see it's on Android 5.1.1 A001 it's running on uh, Sun Engine kernels nightlies they say that it's nightlies but I have not received any update yet maybe they will be pushing out the update in uh, RO2 and the developer options are uh, unlocked from the start only they, they have given us su super SU pre-installed they have given us super SU pre-installed which is nice we don't have to flash it manually and the performance they have they have actually given us the battery mode over here the performance mode and everything which we have to find uh, in CM12 like this over here in a battery but uh, they have given up, uh, given us in performance which we are used to of Sun Engine users and uh, date and time is similar everything is same here back up and reset I'll show you a big change over here tap and pay I have no idea what they have added maybe this would be for US users or something and, uh, you can click learn more and get to know more in India there is no tap and trace so we are not really eager about this so users and this ROM is solely English there is no Chinese in this ROM anywhere so you are all cool with this and buttons it's, as you all can see buttons are on screen buttons have been switched on and the layout can be changed I will be showing you a cool thing in this also first of all I like this setup and in this I will be adding a power button a menu button save 
So what this power button does is, as you can you can see it by yourself, it uh, one tap sleep. No double tap on the status bar and reach over here. Just uh, tap over here and it's sleep. A good uh, good button, good good thing to have. Why doesn't uh, Sun Engine use it in their ROM? I have no idea. That's why I like customization so much. This is also a cool thing that they have done. We can change the buttons, color, everything. So I can give it this. It's all normal. If you do it black, it's all gone. Yeah, it's all supported over here. Really good. Highly customizable. I like it much better than. I'll come to this later on. This is the jackpot you will be getting. The gestures. I'm actually setting up my phone with you guys. Themes are supported. And buttons I've shown you home where it comes. As I flash the full pro, full Google package, full Google apps, I will be leaving a link for that. I've uh, and uh, this is this is 5.1 m. So and now we will go into the jackpot that uh, this comes with. They they've bundled every customization in this. This <laughs> various shit notification draw status bar heads up. Everything is inside there. They've given us endless customization. I have not uh, still logged in. Maybe they would have processed. They have also given us the kernel uh, customization with this. Yes, grant. So as you can see, it's showing everything. This is really good. Cool. It's also showing the frequency that the CPUs are running on. CPUs. We can customize it. We don't need any paid app like the Franco Condon needs. It's all inbuilt. It's also showing the temperature right now. Uh, it's a bit high. No, it's okay. Maybe it would be high internally. Everything is customizable. And that's also inside. No, nothing paid, nothing. So we can customize everything in this. Thing. Yeah, this one's this looks better. Yeah, as you can see, the customization is really good in this. Uh, the one thing that I, as a YouTuber or as a site uh, owner, I don't like, but uh, many of many of you would be liking is the ad blocker. It will be blocking all the ads. I really don't like, and I don't appreciate people having this. I've never used it myself because if the content we are using like if the content we use uh, yeah i've never liked the ad, blo ad blocker because we as an owner uh, work really hard to make this content and when it's uh, in build uh, like this it's really disturbs a person like me but still they have given an option so as you can see we'll go to the prox uh, various shit <laughs> nice name actually Proximity wake up, show weather, it will be showing weather in the panel that it comes. The weather information is not available because I have not connected the internet yet. Boot animation, we can change the boot animation from here. This is the boot animation, actually quite good. So set custom boot animation and we can select it from anywhere. Lock settings, lock screen color, I guess. Yeah. Lock screen weather, yeah, I was looking for this. So they've added this and it's pretty cool. Uh, Sun Engine should have uh, in implemented this. I will connect to the internet and come back And this is what I wanted to show you and that's why I've uh, connected to internet. The lock screen weather. This really looks good. And the, all the notifications would be coming down over here. So the weather would be disturbed and I really like this. So we can even change the color of the lock screen weather if we... <laughs> it's changed, I've, I've just selected anything. So, there was another thing. 
So in the notification drawer we can customize these. This is usual stuff. Slim actions, I really have no idea. Screenshot. So guys you need to go through this ROM, it's really good and I have been customizing this, it's customization uh, and people who use Sun Engine mode I guess they're using it for the customization and the uh, cool features that it offers so uh, you can look at this ROM because it's much better and see the lock, uh, lock button if we hold it and press it and what all will come. This is known as customization man. This is real customization. Add the notification reset gestures anywhere. So these are gestures that uh, it will support. So this is qu quite a lot of customization that it offers. It uh, it comes. It is supporting all the Android. Uh, It is supporting all the apps that uh, comes and it is supporting the Play Store nicely. There is no storage limit that is uh, coming and it is supporting the Sign Engine. It is supporting the Sign Engine camera. I will check the view. Yep, it is supporting everything. Yeah, pretty cool. As you can see this ROM is pretty stable and yeah, the cool thing is that uh, they have added the clear all button over here. So we don't have to reach over here to close it uh, like we have to do in stock sign engine with this and it's pretty fast. They have cut down on a little bit of animations, I guess we can check it out over here. Yep, they have cut down on uh, a little bit of animations. I will be doing it on one again. So it's much faster now. And you can, you, you should definitely try this ROM. It's really, really worth. And uh, this is a new uh, audio, audio thingy that they are uh, using. This is not using Max Player. And people say that it's better. I really don't have anything on the phone right now to test it out with. And it's really late in the night. I don't want to wake anyone at my place. It's 1.48. So yeah. It's pretty stable. Guys, please check it out. Guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. And if you like this video, do hit the like button. If you didn't like, hit the dislike button. But do leave me a comment or whatever you didn't like please tell me why I comment so that I can improve it and convert that dislike into a like and uh, please subscribe to my channel I would be coming out with more such videos and I have downloaded many oneplus custom roms I will be also doing on other phones so hit the subscribe button to support my channel and also to get uh, notifications or the uh, regular updates about my channel so that you can also grow and I will also grow. Thanks a lot guys.